people generally agree with me that the Piano Sense sensor has a noted benefit of eliminating acoustic false beats and interference in the upper register of the piano, hence giving more accurate readings of tuning, much less variance as a result. Now, look at this first picture. This is A sharp one, or B flat one, and this is with the sensor, and look at the partial spectrum, partials one through 10 in this case. Notice that the overall tuning is 0.1 cents, so it's you know nearly on zero in the first 700 millisecond of the FFT that is the composite linear equation computing the tuning. Now notice in the next picture, with the microphone, this is a parallel recording done with the microphone in the same program. And notice the partial one is missing. Partial two and three are strong and partials four through 10 are quite weak. Look at partial six, for example, which is very important. Partials four and six are extremely important in almost any tuning system. And look how far down they are. Partial eight is nearly missing and that's partly because the hammer hits at one eighth the string length and then partial 10 comes back up. But notice that the overall assessment of the linear equation is giving us 1.1 cents to the sharp side in the same tuning interval and the same time interval. So a big difference is now you ask yourself, do I believe that this tuning is 0.1 cents accurate or 1.1 cents inaccurate? And do I believe that the partial spectrum is good and strong on the string Hence, it should be good and strong acoustically, or do I want to believe the partial spectrum from the microphone, which really only gives us a good second and third partial? Which one do you really want to believe? And I think the answer is a rhetorical answer resounding to the sensor. And again, remember, this is the upper end of the first octave of the piano. We're talking a very low note, 58 hertz. We're talking 58 hertz fundamental on an A-sharp one.